I am moved to no end by that you're all here. And, and I'm not going to get through this without crying. <laughs> Their family, thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> in the last week or so, tensions have been high, and if, if for some reason, if someone has said something As you said, opponent to someone in this room on behalf of me, I apologize. <laughs> I have never said anything to... You were in the room when I gave that speech, right? And I, I told them to fight for what there is theirs. And, and I, if, if someone has brought harm upon you, I sincerely apologize. That was never my words. What I bring to you is, for the last two days I've been in, ooh, some awkward meetings. And you were there when I was supposed to be at a meeting of all the potentially affected employees, and it was me. It was me, and the president, and the provost, and the head of HR, and my, my division director, by myself. That's what I dealt with yesterday. That's why I was angry, and that's why I was told to not be angry anymore. So I went home. I, I, I kept asking, what's the plan, Rick? And you're like, you'll hear it this morning. I did not hear a plan this morning, Rick. I saw numbers on a spreadsheet, Rick. And then when, when someone asked, what are you going to do with the theater department? You said, oh, we'll figure that out. When are you going to figure it out for them? When is that going to be figured out? And who's going to do it? Because I can't do it anymore. And the other thing that just reeks here is that, that you are going to exploit the teacher's love of their students to give you time to figure it out. Because if I walk away right now, you have less time to figure it out. But then I'm the villain because I'm not here. If I'm not here next year to teach out because you're obligated to do it because of a collective bargaining agreement, you don't have the time to figure it out. There's not a plan. Where's the plan? What is theater going to do? What are any of these departments going to do? I didn't see anything on any of these screens other than money. And yes, it can't function without money, and I get it. But they are promised an education. And Sue told me in my meeting, oh, they'll get their degree, and I told her, they'll get a degree, but not an education. And speaking to you as an SOU alumni of the theater program, specifically the theater tech program, um, I'm here partially because I'd like to talk about, we have seen all of these graphs, the projections for increases in revenue. Um, I would be very interested to see the, I guess, the flip side of those graphs. It has been spoken to that, I, 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 as being a theater alumni, that is where my heart is speaking from in this moment. In the cuts that have been proposed, there is no way for the theater to evolve. Evolution takes time. You would not go up to somebody and completely decapacitate them and look them in the face and say, why aren't you evolving? Yeah. There is certain programs that are set behind technical programs that support the actors on stage. Without those programs, the program, it, and the theater program as a whole, cannot flourish. It is unfair to the actors, as well as those technicians, these changes have been proposed. But I'm also here, as I said, speaking as an alumni, as somebody who graduated with a technical theater degree, I find it difficult to look back proudly on SOU as my alumni, to want to tell people, this is where I graduated from, if a Google search would return that the theater program no longer has technicians supporting it. But I, but I, thank you for the comment. Thank you for your sharing. I, I would ask that we, um, off the, basically Helen's point, let, let's have a dialogue. Let's, let's get together, let's get all the theater students together, let's get the chair, um, the, the director, the provost, me, let's, let's have that conversation. I, and again, educate me on, I, I have a feeling that everyone thinks this is the end of the theater program at SOU. I don't think that is true. In my heart, I don't think that is true. Um, let's have that.